a huge problem with child poverty here in San Diego County. That may surprise you, right? According to U.S. Census data, nearly 200,000 of San Diego's youngest children are living in families who are barely able to make ends meet, often having to choose between paying for rent, child care, or food to eat. Director of San Diego for Every Child, Aaron Hogboom, is here to share how we can all change that. Tell us a little bit about your mission, what uh, San Diego Every Child is, is all about. Thanks for coming in. We really appreciate it. This is concerning. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. San Diego for Every Child is a coalition of organizations and community members, parents, caregivers, anyone who really is committed to making sure that every child here in San Diego County has their basic needs met. You know, I think most people go, well, San Diego County, you know, we're, it has a lot of wealth, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're not considered one of the poorest uh, cities in the country. We're never on that list. But that doesn't mean we have some kids and families that are really struggling here. It's so true. We have um, child poverty actually is in nearly every neighborhood here in San Diego across the region. Mm -hmm. um, I know we've shared some information oh, about the stats are staggering. I want to take a look at some of the numbers that uh, Aaron was just starting to talk about to really drive home the, the point. This is from the American Community Survey of the U.S. Census in 2018. It shows there are neighborhoods in both Carlsbad and Poway where more than half of the children under 12 are living in poverty. In La Jolla, there is a neighborhood with 67% of children living in poverty. Downtown San Diego, 75% of kids are experiencing poverty. And in areas of Chula Vista, this one really shocked me. The number is nearly 80%, Aaron, and that's why you're here to talk about this these numbers are jaw-dropping to me. Exactly, and we think as a community, it's just simply unacceptable. And so we're really trying to work towards a place where we can say with assurance that every child has stable housing, mm -hmm. access to healthy food, uh, access to health care, and quality child care and early education. Is that then the definition of poverty? Um, you know, it's easier to track poverty with adults because a lot of it's based on income, but how do we define a, a kid that's going through that poverty level? So for the most part, poverty is simply the amount of money that a family makes. That's mm -hmm. how it's defined by the federal government. But we are also looking at the experience of poverty. We know that San Diego is an incredibly expensive place to live. Right. And so even if families are just above that federal poverty level uh, or 200%, which is what we use, we know that they are still sometimes struggling with making ends meet and, and connecting the dots between paying for things like child care, rent, groceries. You're right. I mean, three, four bedroom homes, most parts of town, six, seven, eight, hundred thousand dollars twenty five hundred dollars to rent I mean that takes a lot of chunk of the change out for for these families and sometimes they've got to decide what we're gonna buy for the kids absolutely absolutely and that's why we're encouraging people to go and take a look at our website which is San Diego for every child org and take a look at your neighborhood and compare what's happening across the uh, across the region and be able to look and um, we're really encouraging we're um, asking everyone to sign up on San Diego for every child org so we can really all be a part of this community solution and making sure that every child has their basic needs met people can do more than that though right they can do more than just going to a website learning about their community and the poverty levels. What can we do as a community? Because the good thing about San Diego is we want to help. We want to bring our brothers and sisters and our kids up, right? Uh, what can we do? Absolutely. So I think that this is really the first step is is really um, signing up yourself and sharing the information as well with your families and neighbors, maybe the person standing next to you in line at the coffee shop this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, we, what we really see our job as is helping guide people through the different opportunities that they'll have. So we'll have community conversations. Okay. Uh, we'll give opportunities opportunities for volunteering with some of the organizations. We have um, 20 partners at this point and we just launched. And so we're going to have lots of opportunities for helping uh, helping folks identify volunteer opportunities um, and really elevate the conversation here and the dialogue that's happening around child poverty in San Diego. As with a lot of things, Erin, if we want to see results, we got to start that discussion, right? That's true. Erin, thanks for coming in. Really Thank appreciate you so it. Much it's for just shocking me. here. I mean, Heather, you hear some of those st statistics, 67% poverty in a neighborhood in La Jolla. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to hear some of those numbers and then try to make sense of this, but I'm so happy that the organization is just jumping on doing something exactly. about it. It's huge. All right, Eric, thanks.